Kanje Krishna Das. A lame devotee named the Kanja Krishna Das. Langra. Lame. And he came to meet with Rupa Goswami with honor, with the help of a stick. Anyhow he came. But when he reached Pishad Ayat, Rupa Goswami was laughing, not seeing him, but yet laughing. Khandi Krishna Das at once became angry and returned back. Oh, I am lame, and that is why he saw me. And he did not talk with me, and he was laughing for me on my lameness. He returned back in the meantime. When he returned back out of sight, oh, Rupa Goswami trance was stopped. And he was thinking, why? My trance is disturbed. He became very vyakul, restless. In the meantime, Sanatana Goswami came and he told, Oh my Gurudev, my brother, why may this stop trance and remembering Krishna pastime? Then he began to think Sanatana Goswami. Oh, it may be any Vaishnava Parad. Anyhow, you have insulted any Vaishnava. Oh, I will make it some remedy. Ji Goswami, boy, you should go and invite all Vaishnavas here to take prasadam here. Then Ji Goswami went to all Vaishnav and they all accepted his invitation and all very happy that we are going to Rupa and Sanatan and we will take prasadam. But when he went to Khanja Krishna Das, that very person, lame person, oh, at once he refused and became angry. I will not go. Because he was laughing on my lameness. I'm lame and sad. That is why he was laughing. Why he was laughing? I will not accept. Then Jeeva Sami returned back and told to Sanatan he has refused. Oh, oh, this is the root. <laughs> then he told Rupa Goswami, oh, at once you should go and pay excuse yes. to him and anyhow you should please him. And then Sanat Rupa Goswami went to him and he told that unknowingly, unknowingly, if I had done any offense, please excuse me. Then his heart melted. Oh, when I went you, to you and you, you were laughing there to see me? Oh, really not. I don't know. At that time I was thinking the past time of Krishna that Keshi came and in the meantime Madhu Mangal told Krishna if you will give your float and pick up feather to me, no one will give any sweet and no nothing to you. All will come to me. <laughs> then Krishna at once gave Rupa Goswami telling that I, that I am, I was seeing this. And then Krishna at once decorated him with his peacock feather and he gave his flu. And in the meantime, Keshi came. Oh, what doing? In Hinatanga. Oh, loud. Roaring. And he saw, oh, here is Krishna. Here is Madhumandal. And we take two high legs. Oh, he did so that for a he was saved. But little, for little he was saved. And then at once he gave. To, I will not take it. All will come to me. So I was seeing this and I was laughing out that thing not to be seen. And then he began to 
fell on the feet of Rupa Goswami. And then he became happy and he returned back with that and all to Prasadam. So, it is, it is Timbadanti. Timbadanti means? Like a rumor. Like people say. What's it? I'm telling of them only for teaching. Rupa Goswami Siddha. Unknowingly, unknowingly, he cannot do anything, any offense. But we can do. We can do. You are bound to do. So, always be careful of this. Don't criticize any Vaishnava, knowingly or unknowingly. Give respect to others. If you want to do bhajan, you should respect your seniors. And seniors should have love and affection for them. And thus, we should preach the mission of all Guru Rupa Goswami. Then, Krishneti Jasya Man Satan Man Sadriyeta Dikshasti Cheta Bhajana Vigya Manandaman These are important things. You must follow all these things. Madhu Maharaj should be. So, Sri Gurudev told that our ultimate goal is how gopis are serving Krishna in Braj. This is our ultimate goal. But for that, we have to go some process. The last fraction of prayer is Shraddha. We have to start from there, then we can achieve gradually, step by step, Krishna to attain Krishna Prem. So, Sri Rupa Saipat has explained all these things in his Rupa Upadasamitam, means nectar of instruction in stroke form. So just we have heard explained by Sri Pat Aranna Maharaj, Drishtai Sahaba Janitai Pupusasta Dosai. Now Guru the order me to explain Krishnaiti Yasa Giritam Manasadriya. Dikshasti che pranati vishya bhajanta misam sususraya bhajana vidya mananna manna nindari sunna vrita mipsita sangha labdha Krishneti yasa giri tan manasadriye Krishneti means Krishna iti means whoever reciting the two syllable Krishna then what to do? Manasadriye he had to Respect him, honor him by mind. And Dikshasti Chet, if he initiated by bona fide Gurudev, then Dikshasti Chet Pranati Vishta Bhajantam is Pranati Vishta. You have to respect by mind and have to give Dandavat Pranam. Moreover, why we quarrel? But each other Vaishna. Quarreling. Why? If you will follow this, then everything will go away and we can love each other. So we should love each other, not quarreling. But I see, oh, it may be some difference of opinion. It may be. You know, Lakshman was not always. One opinion with Ram, Baldev Prabhu, though both are same, but not always in one opinion. One wanted that oh, his sister should be married to Arjun and other wanted to Durjodhan. Durjodhan. So there are some, there may be. But as Krishna and Baldev Prabhu, Baldev Prabhu. And Lakshman and Siddhanta. Ah, together. They love each other. You know, myself and Tridikam Maharaj. 
always fighting always fighting if i will tell anything he will call cut his, my argument and when i will tell i will call his all arguments but you know how respect each other how i love each other whole life so you should also be though different of opinion but don't criticize don't quarrel then everything will be okay your sadhan bhajan will be okay so pranati vishtam bhajantam isam susrusaya bhajan vigya mananna manna who is doing bhajan being one pointed and beyond all criticize what shall we do we have to know is our soul mate we have to respect him like our soul mate even more than our soul susu so i have to serve him what is doing although he seems like us he is going for passing he is sleeping like us he is doing all activity like a mundane person if you think him is a mundane person condition so like us then it will be very big offense then he could not advance in krishna consciousness even an inch so have to be very careful so it is very easy to make offense in the lotus feet of uttam bhagavat because our stage is so low we could not understand what he is doing although we are sitting here some may sit here think and can form about europe what where is his house what is going on in same way uttam bhagavat sitting here among us what is doing is sitting here we can see by our own eyes same time fire sri chaitanya mahaprabhu's pastime is going on is attending their harinam sankirtan sri chaitanya mahaprabhu all along with his all associates by other hand fire the pastimes of divine couple is going on in prakar braj and fire is going on always in prakar braj he is even there yes so many forms i we could not understand that thing only by his Costless mercy, we can understand understand him. What is his mass? What is his constitutional form? What he is doing? So have to be very careful. Don't think anything bad about him. Otherwise, you will be great danger. Like this morning, Guru Dev told, "Jam eva eva dhirinute dena lagbha." To whom he accepts his own, he can understand him. Otherwise, by his own intelligence, not possible at all. what to say about ourselves even our adi guru brahma ji chor katha pite deva padam mujad prasad le sanu grit e bahi janati tattam bhagavan mahimno nachannam chiro bich nachannam bichinam bichinnam eko bichinam bichinnam who is telling i know the glory of bhagavan let him tell that he knows but not possible at all when he will manifest by costless merciful then i can know him other is not possible so in this slok chilo bhakti vinod thakur make some commentary once one in council the disciple of silo bhakti siddhanta sultan prabhupad they are discussing this slok like here bhar from silo gurudev pai pujya bhakti vikram maharaj who have seen among you always gurudev and shrimati vikram maharaj cutting their argument each other in same way in prabhupad disciples also it was going on like debate so among them prominent was our param gurudev shri bhakti pradhan keshav goswami maharaj and another my param gurudev shri bhakti rakshak sudhan goswami maharaj they used to cut their argument each other and establish new new then all disciple of prabhupad became very happy and enjoy their debating so once this slow came among the discussion everybody told that krishna ji just so gritam manasa driye who you are reciting this two syllable krishna we shall respect them from our mind the dog chilo param puja bad chilo chilo mai told and all accept this then param gurudev told 
from the silent. Nang po di ba sila mga writer, kung sila kaysa manas, are you agree with this or not? What we don't know. Why not? Then he told that Christianity is so great and the world is so great. He has to take this line up to the world. Who is Atari Krishna name? And if he is initiated, then I have to honor him. Otherwise, if you honor him, by even mind, if you know he will popped up. So if you are not initiated, don't honor him. Why so? They are telling, oh, Sila Bhakti Vathakura has told all these things. If he recited this Krishna name, have to honor. Then Paramguru they have told, that Sila Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur told this Dikshas have to take this point. So, you are near and dear to Bhakti Vinod Thakur, or Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur is near and dear to Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Who tell, who tell you about Vasila Bhakti Vinod Thakur? By your own intelligence? Or we have to know Bhakti Vinod Thakur through the vision of angle of Srila Sarsat Thakur Prabhupada. Sarsat Thakur Prabhupada knows Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur more than anyone in this universe. So what Prabhupada Sarsat Thakur has told?